Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to solve day 12 problem of this month on lead code. Before starting, if you guys haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, then please go ahead and subscribe it. Now without any delay, let's get started with the today's problem. Problem number 2094, finding three digit even numbers. Let's read the problem statement first. You are given an integer array digits. Okay. Where each element is a digit, the array may contain duplicates. You need to find all the unique integers that follow the given requirements. First requirement is the integer consists of the concatenation of three elements from digits in any arbitrary order. The integer doesn't have any leading zeros and the integer is even. Okay, so see here example. So if the given digits were 1, 2, 3. Okay, so integers 1, 3, 2 and 3, 1, 2 follow the requirements. Okay, so see total three digits are there, right? Condition 1 satisfied. Integer doesn't have any leading zeros, right? Correct. And these integers are even only, right? 1 through 3, 2 is even. 3, 1, 2 is even. Okay. So this is not uh, even. Okay. 3, if you see this, 3, 2, uh, 1. Okay. So this is not even integer, right? So that is why we are not taking this. Okay. 3, 2, 1. Or you can say 2, 3, 1. Okay. Right. All right. So we have to return a sorted array of the unique integers in the end. And these are the constant size. Okay. Digit dot length 3, 200. And digits of i value from 0 to 9 okay so we are always uh, talking about three elements right three elements only so here see this example number one so only three three elements we need right uh, 102 120 130 okay 320 okay only three three uh, digits are there in one integer right this is the requirement right finding three digit even numbers so that simply means that from 100 to 998 okay we have to find the integers in between them and those integers should be even only right if 102 i will pick then 104 then 106 right to 998 okay so we are only searching for the integers in this range right in this range 100 to 998 right so here if you see 102 so in 102 uh, we have frequency of 1 is 1 0 frequency is 1 and 2 frequency is 1 okay so here in this uh, digits Two frequencies one, one frequency is uh, one, okay. Three frequencies one, and zero frequencies one, okay. So here, if you see one zero two, here uh, one is here also one time, okay. Zero is also here one time, and two is also here one time, okay. So we can form this one zero two, right? Using these digits, right? So this one zero two is in my output right next i will search for 104 can i form 104 so 4 is not here so i can't form 104 then i can't form 106 right same way here uh, i will encounter this 120 so i can form this 120 right and same way uh here 122 i will check so one is here two is two times i need a two two times but here two is just one time so i can't form one two two right so i'm not adding that so we can simply check this range now from 100 to 998 okay we are checking in order also right first i am checking 100 then 102 then 104 until 998 i will check and in the end i will just return that okay this list okay uh, output is in uh, we have to return the output in int uh, array type now so i will just convert the list in uh, array type okay so first uh, i will just iterate over all the numbers from 100 to 998 okay that's it and i will here calculate the frequencies of these digits and here for individual numbers also, I will calculate the frequency and check whether I can form the numbers using these digits or not. And that's it. Okay. So this is the one way to solve this problem. Okay. And with this uh, way, I think we are going to just get the time complexity maybe around O of N plus K. Okay. So let's see that. Right. So let's write the code for this. So here, first of all, just create one list. Okay. Because we don't know how many values will come in our uh, output array. Right. So here these many values here these many values so we don't know the size of our out right so create list first okay array list so list of integer and here just give the name as list is equal to new array list all right so this is done all right now after that we have to calculate the frequency right so create one frequency array and we have digits from 0 to 9 only right so here i'm writing new int and here i will just pass the size 10 okay done then just iterate over all the digits in your digits array right in this digits array you have to iterate over all the digits one by one to calculate the frequency right so here digit in digits okay i'm using for each loop right and inside this uh, we have to just update the frequency of all the digits one by one okay so frequency of digit plus plus okay this is done right now once this is done 
okay now you have to just check all the numbers three uh, digit numbers right so here you are going to just run one for loop okay four int i is equal to 100 okay and here i is less than 1000 i is less than 1000 and here i is equal to i plus 2 since we are checking only even numbers okay so here you can also write i is less than 999 okay your choice right so since we are checking only three digit numbers now so from 100 to 998 okay so that's what right and then after that first uh, you are picking what number you are picking number i okay you are checking 100 first okay so i'm creating this uh, number variable and i'm passing 100 in this okay so now i'm just going to convert this number to a string okay string s is equal to string dot value of this particular number okay so i'm converting this to string and then after that i will i'm going to create one new frequency array okay for this particular number 100 i have to calculate the frequency of digits which what i need okay so here frequency 2 is equal to new int and here 10 right we have digits from 0 to 9 right and here then we have i'm going to do a run one for each loop care c s dot 2 just convert your string to care array okay so s to care array right and here this is like this all right and here inside this you have to calculate the frequency right so here frequency uh, two okay and now these are characters now so just convert them to digits okay so we have to store the frequency right so at zero we have to store so c minus zero i'm going to write and i'm going to increment the frequency right done so here i'm storing the frequencies okay so if my c is one so one minus zero one so add one index of frequency two i'm incrementing the value to one okay so this is what i'm doing here right now here create one variable boolean add is equal to true so here i'm going to check whether i'm going to pass this number in my list or not okay so i'm going to check the frequency of the digits okay if it is possible or not so here inside this run one for loop int j is equal to zero j is less than 10 and j plus plus okay so i'm going to check the frequencies right so here if frequency 2 of j okay so this is the, the frequency of the digits of this number okay so if the frequency of any particular digit at 0 okay or 1 okay so if the frequency of 0 let's say is greater than the okay frequency which is actual frequency of digits okay in digits whether we have this 0 that, that many times or not okay so here frequency of j so in that case we can't form the number right so here i'm just going to add uh, update the value of add to false and i'm going to early exit okay break okay this is done now after that once this is done so here here i'm just going to check if add value is still true all right so i'm going to add this in my result okay so in my list okay so list dot add this particular number okay number done okay this is done now i have added all the value numbers in my list all right so here if i decrement the size so here my for loop ends right so this is great until now now after that once this is done so we have to return the output uh, in array format right int i'm just going to first calculate the size of my uh, list okay so int uh, k is equal to list dot size okay so now after that create one uh, output uh, answer let's say okay here new int and here you have to pass k value okay this is that now after that run one loop okay for int i is equal to zero uh, i is less than k and here i plus plus and here you have to write answer of i is equal to uh, list dot get and here you have to write i okay and in the end you have to just return the answer that's it okay so here just return answer okay let's run the code so see all the test cases has been accepted right now let's submit it so see our solution is accepted right okay and the time complexity for this problem is going to be so since here we are iterating over all the digits so you can say for this part it is of n 
okay and now here we are running one for loop okay so here it is running uh 100 to 999 okay so here i plus 2 also we are doing so we have uh like digits if you see thousand let's say thousand minus 100 so you are going going to get 900 and 900 divided by 2 450 since we are already checking the even digits so here you can say uh time complexity constant only some 450 okay 450 times okay first we are checking 100 100 uh two okay one zero four okay so this is approximate approximate okay so this many times right even number of times right all right and now inside this you are just iterating over all the characters right so here see this s string length this is also constant so of three right and here this is also constant right of 10 only of 10 only right so here also very less right so overall it's going to be constant only okay we are not taking much right here 453 450 into 3 to 10 it's not much right okay and then uh once all this is done then here we are running it k times right of k we don't know the output size okay so output size k okay so overall you can say now n plus k for this i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem and if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section Till then, keep coding and keep practicing. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.